Next, we have poster 5, titled, Does Lymphopenia Indicate the Disease Outcome? An analysis of the first 100 patients discharged or dead following COVID-19 disease in Sri Lanka. The authors are Jago DS, Hevage SA, Vikramasinghe ND, Vijay Vikrama A, Gunavardhan NS, Pratapan S, and Armepola CA. The presenting author is Jayakodi S. Uh, good morning, uh, good morning, Chair and the judges and the audience. Uh, I am uh, Surangi Jayakodi from University of Sri Jayadilapura. I'll be presenting uh, uh, a component from an uh, ongoing study uh, with regard to epidemiology and clinical outcomes of uh, COVID-19 disease in Sri Lanka. Uh, this is with regard to uh, the, this component is regard to uh, does lymphopenia indicate the disease outcome? Uh, we, have anal we, have we have done an interim analysis of the first 100 patients discharged or uh, dead following COVID-19 disease in Sri Lanka. So uh, we all know that uh, COVID-19 is a novel pandemic due to uh, uh, SARS-CoV-2 uh, virus. And uh, uh, clinical outcome and uh, the uh, uh, predictive factors for the disease is uh, still uh, under investigation. So the objective of the current study uh, is to retrospectively uh, analyze the lymph uh, First lymphocyte, uh, first lymphocyte count, uh, WBC count of the uh, uh, patients, uh, first standard patients uh, discharged or dead following uh, COVID-19 disease. So uh, we have uh, uh, retrospectively analyzed uh, the bedhead tickets uh, uh, from uh, three designated hospitals in Sri Lanka. That those are the from National Institute of uh, Infectious Disease Angode. Columbus base hospital uh, Mulle Riava and also uh, from the base hospital Valikanda. So there uh, uh, we have uh, categorized the patients with disease uh, into th three categories, mild, uh, severe and uh, uh, critical uh, in accordance with the international classification. And also we have taken the, we have taken the reports uh, of the first uh, WBC count in each and every patient and we analyzed those reports and, uh, the f uh, in, uh, and, and then compare with their uh, clinical outcome. Uh, with regard to the results, uh, uh, the mean age of the sample was uh, 40.7 with a standard deviation of 17.7. Uh, Majority of the study population, study sample uh, uh, were male, uh, that is 65%. Uh, with regard to the table one represent the uh, uh, lymphocyte uh, WBC count and the lymphocyte counts of the uh, disease uh, category, uh, according to disease category. So there were, uh, in our sample, there were 92% of the uh, sample were uh, in uh, mild category and 2% uh, were severe category and 6% uh, uh, were in uh, critical category. So when compare the WBC count, so we can see uh, the mean WBC count of the mild category was uh, 7.3, whereas it is uh, low in severe and critical category. And also when we compare the lymphocyte counts, uh, it was uh, the mean lymphocyte count was 32.4 in mild category when compared to 16.8 in severe category. So we can see a uh, uh, significant difference and the, uh, the mean lymphocyte count of the critical categories about half of that of the mild category and that uh, uh, difference is statistically significant. And uh, uh, in that graph I have shown the, uh, uh, the box and whiskers plot to compare the, the, compare the uh, uh, neutrophil counts and lymphocyte counts uh, in uh, mild and uh, critical categories that is to graphically represent the uh, comparison. There also we can see the uh, significant uh, lower uh, lymphocyte counts in the critical category. So in conclusion, uh, the lymphocyte count is uh, significantly low in critical category when compared to uh, mild disease category. So lymphocyte count can be a predictor of the outcome of COVID-19 disease. So this warrants further studies and also this, uh, uh, this finding is compatible with the other research uh, worldwide. Thank you. The paper is now open for discussion. Just one query, though the lymphocyte counts are low, the WBC seems to be in the okay, no, in the critical group? Yeah, WBC this seems to be okay, okay but the lymphocyte count, count is was significantly was low, low when, no. compare, when we analyze the Nobody count. would have died during that 100, no? First 100, nobody died, no? Six, six, there were six days. Ah, the All critical, the critical patients. Critical disease, yeah. six have died. Okay. I'm just wondering, uh, I know this uh, <coughs> two blood counts have been collected after admission. Yeah. Is it the same stage of the 
disease process or a different stages of the disease process. Maybe uh, someone in the at the early stage of the disease, someone may be in the so recovery stage. No, so have you taken that? So the, 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 we have retrospectively analyzed analysis. Now the, the we have taken the first hundred patients. Now the majority of the patients, because of the, the, at the beginning of the disease, we, with the onset of symptoms, most of them have admitted. So we have taken the first lymphocyte count. But uh, when we uh, the, uh, in our study, when we compare the mild and critical patients, the, the, the date of admission is in mild cases they were admitted within first three to four days, and the critical cases they were admitted. Uh, the, the mean day of admission was about the seven day of illness, seven to eight days. So we are, we are presenting that in a separate, so that component is also being presented in a separate uh, presentation. Okay, thank you, thank you. very much, Nawal, Nawal, Yeah.